One night that I see this one camp that comes, Great Lakes Ground and Pound. Uh -huh. And uh, when they come to a show, their one leader, Jason Favell, he has this, he has like the bob head, uh -huh. but he can reach in and hold it by a grip with his hand. So he trains with you like this and you're hitting the head and you're, you're focusing on the head and you're shooting in on his arm and stuff and, and he does that. So it never falls over. You're always kicking that nice, squishy and punching that thing. And it's kind of neat, man. I've seen it, his fighters do really well. Oh, so it's got to be a good technique. Right now, but when you blacken out these lights, you got a real kind of that, that old boxing room type of a motif, but minus the cigar smoke. Right. Everybody meet Carl. Yeah, this, uh, these are so old. Yeah, I, I, I haven't been to a single gym with one of these hanging on the wall yeah, like that. Yes, it's amateur takedown machine. Nice. So you practice, that practice coming in, lifting up, that, you know, like shooting in on them. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah. Doing all kinds of snap downs, arm drags, high crotches, singles, doubles, the whole nine yards. The guy that actually first created it was a guy by the name of Carl Adams from. Uh, he, uh, well, he no longer coaches at uh, Boston University, but uh, you know the, he actually sold off the rights probably, I'll say, 15, 20 years ago oh, yeah? to whoever. And, and uh, I mean, but that, that's one of my most reliable workout partners, and I simply refer to it as <laughs> Carl. It's Carl. <laughs> then uh, those two throwing dummies, are, they're my other most reliable workout partners. They are always here. Yeah, they never they skip a day, do they? They always show up. They're never on. Nice. All these panel walls. Nice, Matt. Walls. The panel walls I actually made. Yeah. These are a lot higher because I, you know, normal. This is what you normally see, see in a. Uh, yeah, you can feel these are nice and fresh, man. They, you know, these. Uh, well, these. Well, this these got some life on them, but they, man, they are got some yeah, super they, thickness. Layer of foam yeah. So There's a little more give to these. But a mat, actually, if you treat it right, if, if, if you can leave it laid out, it'll last forever. Like this mat here, it's over 40 years old. Yeah, and it shows it. Well, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, no, no, I mean, it's. No disrespect, man. No, 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 no it, it, it needs to be replaced. And I, this mat. The thing is, I actually think that, uh, I don't think I probably know, I could probably cut this into, you know, one by one foot type squares. And sell it. And sign my name onto it and sell it. I'm sure this mat has some crazy, sweaty, bloody stories, man. <laughs> Weight room facility is all it is. Old equipment, but uh, equipment is equipment. People just keep thinking that they need all this uh, fancy new stuff. No, they just need to go in there and work. Work with what they need. This little, these two sheets of plywood with uh, two by fours underneath it represents the only properly lifting platform. You know, that probably be 100 miles radius of anywhere. And I have power lifters that need it. That's pretty darn cool. I think you need this. This is protection on clothes. Which piece are you talking about? Just this two sheets of plywood. <laughs> <laughs> for lifting? For, for power lifter, they think that's pretty cool. Does it get, is it just give? I mean, does it just. No, it's just a give. You have a, you got the rubber bumper plates. You can go for clean and snatches on this. You know, for for right power lift or something like that, and then literally you can then you can drop it. They just think it's they just think that's the coolest thing you can see this now. Right. Look at these big bad boys. Oh my god. Heck yeah, man! That's like Bugs Bunny freaking when he blows up the little hundred pounder balloons. This is a, a boxing room, but then boxing slash uh, again, it's another professional wrestling ring that's inside there. And if guys are coming from work, they lose the shoes that are out there. A couple of change out rooms that they can kind of change out into and go to work. But right in the, the same room in, in here, because they had sort of people that are coming in, you know, I could say just keep the coats on, hang the coats all into here now. Right. But leave the shoes out there because I am not here. I'm not your mom. I'm not your dad. I'm not here to clean up after yourselves. <laughs> Take responsibility. <laughs> Kick their asses is what I want to do half the time. What do you think the biggest challenge is about being uh, running a gym, I should say? You know, even with your stature, you know. Dealing with people. Yeah. Just it's not just that, that, you know, people. I, at first when I opened up my place, I said, mi casa, su casa. 
this is, you know, my home is your home. I've been to some of their homes. No. This is an extension of my home. Conduct yourself accordingly. It, people think it's a very impressive, it's a very nice looking gym. Yes, because you take care of it. Right. Now, I hear, I'll, 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 I'll preface what you might want to say with this. The biggest problem I see my friends having with their gyms is dedicated per people. People that just will keep coming are dedicated to a lifetime commitment. This is like their hobby. Like some people play, some people play darts. Some people go bowling. Some yeah. people the, the, finding the right group of people that are committed to this kind of facility and will stay here. Like right now, it should be packed, right? Well, not this time. They don't. Well, I'm just it's saying, people. you know. Yeah. yeah no, realistically, sh should it be? Yeah. Of course, it should be because. Who else has any better credentials than me? Nobody. So this is sweet. Cafeteria slash mess hall. Exactly. Nice. But since you have to keep the animals entertained a little bit, a little ping pong physical activity. Yeah. I don't believe in sitting down and playing video games. Get up to get moving around and get your work your hand eye Yeah, coordination. that's great. Hand -eye. Ping pong is one of the best hand eye coordinations. And you have a commercial kitchen inside there because I do run full fledged camps, whether it be a weekend camp, week long camp. I've had guys stay here a day, a weekend, a week. The longest guy has stayed here for just over four years. I'm like, go home. Call your parents every now and then, you know? So that's what that is. And I'll show you one of the... Uh, Gosh, this building's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Then this is one of my, my dormitories. Oh, the bunkhouse. All right. So basically, it's nothing special. Basically, just think of uh, when you went to camp as a kid. You had a bunk bed and you had... A shelving unit to stow your gear on. Oh, damn. What? Then there's, uh, again, there's no air conditioning, so these fans, they go, they're, they're strewn throughout the uh, facility, so it helps to move warmer air around. Then inside there you have your, your uh, restroom slash, you got four showers, four toilets. Four sinks, so they have to take care of the masses. Look at that, guys! Y'all got, y'all got poopers, and you got showers, and you can all be dedicated to not leaving and staying right here and getting the job done, right, Dan? Oh well, again, I just, I'll just smile on that one, Jason. I'm just gonna smile. On that. You see this, I mean, you can see that this is kind of like military type of a setup. I dig it. Yeah, I've got just a couple guys right now that are here, but they'll be leaving out by the end of the month. Yeah. So. This is great. That little inversion table, that's what kind of keeps me alive right there. That yeah, little I've heard about like them. I've been thinking about good it. Good for my back. Yeah, I got a compacted um, vertebrae. And they were saying, oh, those things are great. They'll just stretch you out. Yeah, I think that's what probably <laughs> made me last the last decade. Yeah, huh? Oh, yeah. He owes it all to inversion technique. Exactly. Right on. There's a big movement on that. It's Look at that. It looks like the uh, Peter Jennett doll right there, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Is it? Did he decorate that? I do. <laughs> I don't know he decorated that thing. I don't think much of the actual device the bob, I mean, is what they call it. But, uh, the bob, yeah. And it's, uh, it's good for... Why? Why wouldn't you dig something that you can just lay off a hit on? It's like a face feature. It, it, it's not, it's not, doesn't have a good enough base. Yeah. It has its market appeal. Right. It's great for a lot of karate. Uh, but once you kick it over, you got to stop your technique and stand it back up. I mean, I'm sure there's a couple things you could come up with, like if you were if you got your own facility here, you could drill a pipe in the ground that it's, it sits on. I don't know, people are, I don't know how, how to say this, because it's going to probably, some of the stuff's going to come across, come across. Yeah, I'll cut not, it so not, it sounds nice, right. But, but no, no, but the reality is, you know, most people suck. <laughs> I want to make sure you got that. They suck. Because they talk a pretty good game, and what do they materialize? Nah. Nothing. Uh, most of them, they, they, just, they have to watch one or two UFCs, or they watch whatever else type of show, and they all think that they can do it, and no, they can't. They can sneak and stuff like that. I think you just dropped a card. Oh, yeah, that's my credit card. <laughs> so, <laughs> this a, is just, yeah. a new match, then. <laughs> yeah. you, you can easily knock that over. 
you know, it might be good for kids. I, mean, I can't, and I can't even punch. Yeah, so. I say may, maybe women, maybe kids. So I, you know, may, maybe some women might even find it insulting. Me now that I say that, but. I'm